They're on. So um, today we're starting with chapter nine, which is called stoichiometry. Yep, that's right, stoichiometry. Your book talks about two different types of stoichiometry. They talk about compositional stoichiometry and um, reaction stoichiometry. We are going to concentrate on reaction stoichiometry. Know the definition of compositional stoichiometry for the test, but that's something we're not going to worry about. Um, what stoichiometry allows you to do is it allows one to predict the amount of product made from a given amount of reactant. Okay, so stoichiometry allows one to predict the amount of product made from a given amount of reactant and vice versa. If you know how much product you, may, you need, you can figure out how much reactant you need to make that. Now, I generally start out with a really, really boring food example. And when you get confused, I, I really recommend that you go back to the boring food example. Um, we can do all of stoichiometry with food in like two minutes. So I'm going to use a, a recipe for a turkey sandwich that my son used to um, eat when he was younger. And he ate what we called white food. Uh, white in terms of the colors had to be very pale not ethnically white, but the color white. And he liked turkey sandwiches, and his turkey sandwiches would consist of three slices of very nice deli turkey, two pieces of really white, nasty bread, and that would generate one sandwich. And we're going to use this as a balanced equation for making a turkey sandwich. So to be three turkey plus two bread yields one sandwich. And this is very, very similar to what are called mole to mole calculations in your book. So suppose I have six slices of turkey and an entire loaf of bread. And I wanna know how many sandwiches I can make. Sandwiches are now just going to be written S-A-N-D. Okay, what's happening here is this loaf of bread, this whole loaf of bread is in excess. When something's in excess, we get to ignore it. So if we look at this, you see three pieces of turkey will make one sandwich. So obviously six slices of turkey will make two sandwiches. But how do we do that if that was a chemical? We'd write down the given six pieces of turkey and we would look at the ratio you get from this balanced equation up here. We always put the thing we're looking for on the top, which is one sandwich, and it takes three slices of turkey to make one sandwich. Six, oh, let me see, the units of turkey will cancel. Six times one is six, divided by three is two, and we get two sandwiches. Now, that you could easily see just looking at the recipe and looking at how much turkey we had, but I figured we'd do it the long way because that's how you're going to have to do it with chemicals. Um, suppose I needed to make 30 of these really nasty turkey sandwiches. I need 30 sandwiches, and my question is, how much bread do I need? And how much turkey do I need? Slash turkey. Here we're going from the product, the sandwich, to the reactant. Um, I'm gonna set up the same thing. I'm going to take my given 30 sandwiches, and I'm going to look at the ratio of, let me see what I asked for bread. I'm gonna look at the ratio of bread to sandwiches. And the balanced equation up here says that I need two slices of bread for every one sandwich. 
or I need 60 slices of bread. Uh, that's an awful lot of really boring turkey sandwiches, which didn't even have mayonnaise on them. No mustard, of course, but not mayonnaise. I mean, it was white, but no. Um, again, with the 30 sandwiches, I want to look at how much turkey I need. So I'm going back to this beginning equation, and I see that three slices of turkey are required for every one sandwich. Units of sandwiches will cancel. We're left with units of turkey. 30 times three is 90 slices of turkey. Okay, so we've gone from reactant to product, product to reactant. Now we're going to do what's called limiting reactants, and then we've actually finished um, the, san the chapter in terms of turkey sandwiches. Okay, so here you have nine slices of turkey, and you have four slices of bread, and with this B-R-E-A-D, with this particular combination, we want to know how many sandwiches we can make. Um, in this case, we need to do two problems. We need to figure out how much, how many sandwiches we can make with nine slices of turkey and with four slices of bread. Yes, I know some of you can see the answer already, and that's great. Nine turkey. Look at the balanced equation up here. It says we can make one sandwich for every three slices of turkey. So that gives us nine divided by three. The units will cancel. That gives us three sandwiches. Now let's see how many sandwiches we can make with the bread. We have four slices of bread. Oops. One sandwich can be made with every two slices of bread. Bread cancels, four divided by two is two sandwiches. And the lower number in this calculation is always the amount you can form. You would never add these up. You would never say, oh, I'm gonna use all this turkey and I'm gonna stuff it in between two slices of bread. You know, you're just going to use the bread and make two sandwiches. That's what your book calls a limiting reactant calculation. So with turkey sandwiches, we have just gone through three quarters of the chapter. Okay, the last one is much. Is that it?